Hi everybody, welcome to YS Kong Driving and uh, what do we have here before us today? Well, it's a little baby, but not so much a baby because it is actually 15 years old. So you can say it's a teenager. But believe me guys, this car has just been offered a price of 200k. Okay, somebody just offered to buy this car for 200,000. So, why? It's just a BMW right or is it well it is a bmw and it is a 3 series but it's a 3 series with a difference this is the e46 between 203 and 206 a few units of these were built and this was the m3 okay so this is the e46 m3 it has a straight six 3.2 liter gasoline engine of course with uh, variable valve timing and 4 valve per cylinder so that makes it a 24 valve it has all of 343 PS or 338 horsepower and also 365 Newton meters of torque and this is a naturally aspirated engine so this was one of the fastest cars in this category at that time of day and even today it is still one of the fastest cars and drive is to the rear wheels through a SMG six-speed uh, SMG means sequential manual gearbox and uh, the good thing about this is it's actually a manual with some hydraulics to help you change gear of course this car has been modified you can actually take away the hydraulics and put in a clutch pedal and of course the gear lever and you can make it into a full manual so this car is now a full six-speed manual which makes it even more fun to drive okay i'm not quite sure how much it was sold for but i was told that it's in the region of about six hundred thousand ringgit at that time which is actually a very expensive price for a car but today it is worth two hundred thousand, and there are a lot of people who are actually looking for this car because it is getting harder and harder to find a lot of people say that this is actually the best looking m3 ever made and looking at it i do tend to agree just imagine this was 2006 and you have this beautiful looking front look at the lower bumper with the intake and then the of course the famous bmw kidney grill and these are projector lights okay and uh, over here you have this carbon fiber lower lip i'm not sure whether it's original but it well it's with the car and it really makes the car look good of course you get a plastic bumper and a very nice low slung front so the overall height is only 1370 mm which makes this a really nice and low and sporty looking two-door coupe and of course this one has an extra item it's got the convertible uh, rack top or soft top roof the side profile is really nice too of course starting with this little thing here and it says m3 now only the m3s have this little uh, hole here with this uh, embellishment and the m3 sign so if you don't have this you are not an m3 if you have this it could be a fake m3 <laughs> <laughs> yeah there are some people who actually go all the way and include this inside to make it look like an m3 but of course when it starts to move then you see the difference lah. the front suspension is made up of mcpherson struts while the back has a multi-link arrangement these wheels look very nice don't they but actually these are modified and they are from the owner's other m3 which is the e92 and these are 19 inch so the original wheels on this car are actually 18 inch and they run 225 40 series in the front and 255 at the back so what the owner has done is put in 235 35 uh, tires and so they are wider and of course the back has gone to 265 so with 19 inch wheels the car actually will corner and handle better than the standard 18 inch wheels and therefore you can say that this car is actually much better than in stock form this look like 
non-standard because it says stop tech. So these are one, two, yeah, there are four pot calipers and the disc has been changed. These are grooved discs and they are ventilated and wow, that's quite thick. It's quite thick, at least 26 or 28 mm thick. According to the original spec, these are 325 mm discs and the rear is supposed to be 328, which is actually bigger. But this one look like it is bigger than original so this could be 355 but i'm not sure so these are definitely bigger brakes and therefore this car even stops better than original okay so these are the rear wheels the 19 inch of course but it's wider so these are what you call staggered rims and the width is a 265 30 series r19 because these are michelin pilot sports right guys let's take a look at the engine which is the heart of the car yes there's a very nice and convenient lever here you just pull with one finger and you bring it up and yes la of course with a more expensive car you have the gas struts here to hold it up and Okay, the bonnet is aluminium and even as far back as 206, you have a double locking front bonnet. So this is really, really quite advanced for its time. And of course, this is lightweight, yeah? Very, very lightweight. Okay, drilling into the engine. This is an inline six double overhead cam, six cylinders, 24 valves. That means four valves per cylinder. And it develops 343 PS or 338 horsepower. 365 newton meters of torque so in 206 this was one powerful car and uh, something very interesting here you see the engine is slanted to this side because they're trying to achieve the 50 50 weight distribution so bmw are very fastidious about this weight distribution of course you will now realize that this was made for a left-hand drive country. Like in Germany and the US, the driver sits on that side of the car and so they slant the engine to this side. Of course, there's another reason why they slant the engine this way, is to make the car lower. Because if the engine is straight, then the bonnet line has to be higher. And whilst they were going to lean the engine to one side, what they did was they leaned it to the other side from the driver in order to maintain the weight distribution. Of course, when they went in, send the car to our right hand drive country they didn't bother to make any changes okay all right so that is one interesting fact for you to know all right let's take a look at the entire intake system of this car the intake is actually from the kidney grill underneath here and you can see here there is an intake hose or a inlet that goes into the air cleaner okay and then from air cleaner it goes into this big air box which actually distributes the air and it goes on to the individual throttle bodies okay it's time to look inside the car but i think we should do it with the roof taken off with the roof down the e46 m3 really looks great guys look at it man just imagine yourself driving with the roof down and your hair blowing in the wind now guys, imagine this car is 15 years old and if you look at the condition of it, I think it is still very, very fantastic. It's black leather and these are quite big seats made for big people. So leather and of course it's electrical controls for the driver's side. The passenger side is also electrically controlled and here's a look at the front of the car from the passenger side of the car and you can see everything looks really really nice love this car man okay so the dashboard is is black in fact everything is black in the car and this is soft touch at the top and then in the middle it's a hard plastic and also followed by soft touch at the bottom this is a 206 car and you can see that it is very very well appointed 
Now that is not, the crease is not damaged, huh? it is made like that. It's the finger grip they have for you and it is actually part of the steering. So it's leather wrap and this is a three spoke steering wheel with the M at the bottom. Yeah, it's a bit worn here, but maybe all it needs is a bit of touch up. Elsewhere on the steering, you get your cruise control buttons here and over there is your volume and your, they even have voice control those days. The instrumentation is very nice and simple, analog, what I like, water temperature, your ref counter. I think the red line is at uh, 8000 and then uh, when you, of course when it's running, you, the lights will come on and you can see, but now it's just plain. And here is your oil temperature, that's your speedometer with kilometers per hour in the center and outside is miles per hour. It goes all the way to 300 kilometers per hour or 180 miles per hour but the top speed is actually only 250 or 155 miles per hour over there is your fuel gauge very nice and simple down here you have your window switches and this is one switch for all windows you can put all your windows up or down with just that one switch and uh, they didn't have USB ports in those days so this is the modern day approach it's a USB port that is in a cigar lighter housing okay the roof control buttons are here and this is to close and this is to open and here are the two most important buttons this is the dynamic stability control you can turn it off and this is the spot mode of course aircon controls are up here and this is the aircon switch aircon fan and auto or you can also have your vent open or shut temperature control and where you want your air up here you have a radio the screen is a bit fuzzy but it still works so let's see how it is to get into the rear end of the car okay so to get into the rear seat all you have to do is just pull this lever and you are in now of course with the roof down, it's easier to get in. La. When the roof is up, you have to bend a little bit. There's plenty of leg room. I got at least another 5 inches more. And that's because the back of the seat is curved in to give you extra space. And of course, I can put my legs in under the little cubby hole there for the shoes to go in. And yeah, no USBs, not in 206, but there's an ashtray here and this is actually a four-seater you can't sit five yeah you can't but then who cares about the rear passenger in a car like this it's just everything is for the driver man and the passenger gets a little bit of fun but that's it for the back is for very small size people and uh you don't you won't be carrying a lot of passengers in this car overall the interior is quite good there's some signs of wear and tear but generally the leather is still very good and uh, I think it's a pretty nice car so overall the condition of the cabin is still very very good for a 15 year old car so that's it guys that's our presentation for the E46 M3 so it's time to go for a drive <laughs>